Okay, so first job of the day, we have got to go to Turney's and we've got to go and pick up some bits. We need a rubber flap kit for the hedge trimmer. Young Andrews has sort of ripped in half and, uh, and the bracket's broken off as well, so we need another one of those. We're gonna need some paint for these trailers that we're doing up, so we're gonna pick up some paint. The old Ford, the battery on the old Ford's died. We thought it was draining through the uh, ignition. So farmer actually spent some time and put a kill switch on it. But uh, turns out it was actually a dead battery. So uh, we're gonna see if we can pick up a battery for that. We need a bit of clear pipe for the water bowser so we can see what level the water's at in the bowser. We need an oil kit, oil filter for the Ford. We need an oil filter for the hedge trimmer. Yeah, we are going to get a few bits first, so that's what we're going to do. I love going down turnies because uh, all the cool machines in the yard. Got a bit of snow on the bonnet, though. Nothing major. Had a little bit of snow overnight, nothing major. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh yes, what have we got? Manitou's. Whoa, there's a big sprayer over there. That is that sorted. They didn't have everything. We've got to wait for the uh, flap kit. And the other thing I've forgotten, but I've remembered since, was the, we're gonna put up a, um, a bird scarer in the, uh, a silent one. So it's a kite that mimics a bird of prey. And we're gonna stick that over our little rape field, because that's the only one that's doing all right. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll keep the uh, pigeons off it. They've literally lost it just here. Span out through the uh, hedge area, and uh, they were kind enough to leave us all their bits of plastic from their car. That's nice of them, isn't it? What's going on here? They've already been fed, I can see. Okay. We'll have a look and see if there's any calves in a minute. Someone's already been in there. Right, on a Monday we're fully staffed, but there was a lorry come in at one of the other farms and uh, they've all had to go and uh, when you get to the uh, end of the pile, you gotta go up with a couple of guys sweeping up as you load, because there's uh, always little bits to scrape up. And the phone's going. Oh, let's have a look at our youngster. Where's mum? Mum's gone off and left ya. Come on then, come and say hello. Oh, any friends, any mates yet? You're on your own, You're gonna be the oldest, yeah. When I picked that one, I was just like, I could just see it. I was like, yeah, that's the one. No, Matt. Next year, you might be able to do it. Might be. I thought they had. At least I remembered my knife today. It's any good. All right, girls. Right. That's how it's done. The old man's had his jab, which is good, and so has the old lady which is fantastic news. Just gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Yes, please. Yes, please.
You can't push that. You can't push that. We don't like using straw blowers, do we, Andrew? Get in there and push. One, you get to walk around your animals, make sure there's no issues. Uh, two, keeps your heart going. Send a bad bail. <laughs> doing a good job, Mum. You're doing a good job. Young Andrew will actually, uh, before he comes down to the farm, we've got another shed with uh, some younger cattle in. And young Andrew takes care of those in the morning before he comes here. Uh, how many you got down there, mate? 4,000? 5,000? Oh, I didn't realise it's so many. We like to have a little joke with him every single day. Me and Andrew have a special move with the brooms that no one else can muster up. You've got to have good synchronization haven't you good power good stamina and the only way is to show you on camera because yeah we can give them a little taster couldn't we doesn't work like this does it it's got to be uh it's got to be corn it's got to be brooms Oh, smoky, mate. That's a smoky entrance. Mm. <clears throat> All right, girls. All right, this is just crushed barley. I think there's a bit of oats in these as well. Yes. Now, when they came in, they would not even let you touch them. Hey, girls. Good scan of the eyes. Make sure there's no bad eyes. Good. Peter, what's going on? Two up, boys. Cold breakfast. There you go. Dallas, where are you, boy? Two up, boys. That's what it looks like. A few oats in there, crushed barley. They love it. Where's my mate? He doesn't like to be interrupted. Whilst eating his breakfast. There he is. Hey boy. What's going on mate? You good? Yeah, all right, I'll leave you to it. Really? Well, we've done 5,000 cattle, according to Andrew. When I arrived, there was no sign of you, man. <laughs> I had to go shopping. Oh, is this my fork? No, it's mine. Oh, right. I see how it is. Yeah, I see how it is. Still my fork. Your cow still hasn't carved yet, Pete. What's going on there? Uh, you were... Carved. No. Just your heifer. Yes. Stop going on about it. <laughs> the old straw situation is a bit hit and miss because we're starting to ration bales. I think we've got enough for six or seven a day until you're sort of time for kicking out. So we're having to ration it a little bit. 
but every bale's pretty good, so. Uh, it's just been too wet to go and get the, uh, the bales that are sat in the field, but it may come to the fact that we just have to go and make a mess and then fix it later on. This is Lucas. Please behave yourself. Always got to be careful when you're coming in with the bulls. There is a cage in each corner of every pen. And you just hope to God you ain't got to use it, eh, Butler? The old man's going to put some uh, food down for him. <clears throat> and we are good. We've got two new bulls coming, haven't we? Yeah. Do you know what, what they are? One's a South Devon. They're both South, both South Devon. There we go, they'll be coming soon, so that'll be something to have a look at when they come. We'll have to put some new names up, won't we? Yeah. It's a new one of my old mate. Yeah. One year. Yeah, exactly. And a uh, bit of a sore subject, that one. Poor old musketeer. Bit of news regarding that. He was all clear in his test. Ah, oh, starting to snow again. If you don't drop the pressure, the pipes won't go on. We've already done a few deliveries already, but uh, the next ones are on fields, so we've got to take the truck in. Because, as good as the, uh, the hay wagon is, they're rear wheel drive, and as soon as you get the weight off them, they're rubbish, they just start spinning. And you're going to see something very cool pretty soon because we're actually in the process of having some graphics made up with a farm logo on for the truck and for the wagon as well. So that'll be good. We're not advertising for hay this year as such, but we will want it for next year. So we're just sort of getting ready for that. I'm not quite lined up there, Linda. Let me do that again. square otherwise it won't travel so nice. That better. She's coming, she's coming and we're driving away. We're driving away. In the snow. We're driving away in the snow. <laughs> Highly amusing. <laughs> couple of fields are still way too wet so we've had to go on terra tires with the uh, hedge trimmer. Young Andrew will take control of that. You're used to the big ones aren't you? <laughs> Very good. 
Ah, it looks like we've got a new calf as well. Let's have a look. You've got a bit to go, yeah? Yeah. We try not to intervene if we don't have to. But by later on, there you go, you can see two feet coming out the rear end there. Yeah, first one. So you keep a close eye on her, don't you? Yeah. And it's just because they're tight, aren't they? Look, his feet are moving. He's annoyed, his feet are all fiddling about, I can see. Yeah. Yeah, she's tight, mate. She just could do it on her arm, though. But she'll pick him up that end of the end of the day. We will. Yes, she won't. He won't. Yeah. In you go. Go on in. Right. Keep a close eye on her now, can't you? Well, not only that, she jumps up and leaves the car. Which Heifer will sometimes jump up and leave a car. She ain't going nowhere in there. No. She's got to be good as gold. She'll be alright. She'll, she'll take her a minute or two to settle down. Yeah. But um, she'll be alright. And you, you got to leave them a long enough time yeah, to yeah, yeah. Yeah, expand. Oh, I've got to go to that. She don't want to be rushing her particularly. No. no. Alright, well we'll come back to that later. We've got to load the truck. Oh, we're here. I was in the middle of telling you this morning when the battery went. But uh, all the cattle that uh, all the cows that got taken for TB to be examined, they all came back. Every single one came back, no visible lesions. And uh, they've actually said to us the next test will be on the standard scale, and they won't be coming back to do the blood test. We're a little bit annoyed about the bloods because. Uh, you know, why come and do 80 when you should be doing it the whole lot, you should be doing the whole head, but whatever, that is what it is. So we're going to have to turn that one around. Now, I have got a lot better with the machine. I'm not boasting, but it's just something you learn by having a go and having a go and having a go you get naturally you just get better that don't look too bad that eh so the next tv test we got more chance of passing it because we're not on the extreme scale they have two scales and uh, the next one they said we're going to be on the normal scale for once, so we may end up passing it, who knows. That would be nice. But we'll just see what happens with that. Don't go counting your chickens. They told us they weren't going to do a blood test again, but they came and done another one. You guys will have to let me know. If you want to see more videos where we're working, I can stick camera on my head and we can do it. Right, I've got one loose one at the end. That might fall off, but let's see how we go. Still snowing. <laughs> that looks cool, doesn't it? It does. Tractors should all run on wide tyres all the time. <laughs> should be a law. Try and take it up the road.
Yeah. Yeah, it's alright, but she only had that. Yeah. And uh, if you had cabin, you'd be spooky spooker. Yeah. Once the car tanks on you, it'd be white. If you pull down, it just keeps going around and around the pack. Come on, girl. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Take the chain out. You have to do this a lot with calves? Yeah. Maybe you could have done socks, that's half a bowl. Yeah. Yeah, she just wasn't. On his feet. Yeah, she wasn't letting him. wasn't standing uh, for him. Uh, of course, she wants to just keep the calf under her head. All oh, right. She's just one of them. Now you get them all the time. She's like, you know, easy. Everybody's good as gone. Can't make trouble here. She ain't got a huge amount of milk. She has got some in this bottle. She's actually got a bit more in there. You've got some milk in there. I have got the chin. 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 Yeah, that gate comes in pretty sweet, doesn't it? Go to trees. I'm going to keep them in here for you, you? Yeah. Once he's had a drink, mate, I don't really worry. He knows where it is. Yeah. He was up and... How, how um... So that when they're born, how long have you got before they need a drink? A couple as of hours? As soon as you can, really. Yeah, you, you, yeah a few hours, but you need to... As soon as you can, Matt, if you can. If you, if you can get one less thing, right? Yeah. Some a drink. Yeah. Look at them too. A lot of them drink up the south. Go on, I'll you. Yeah. 